So what is TOGAF? TOGAF is an acronym for the Open Group Architecture Framework. The Open Group is a consortium of um, organizations that came together back in the 90s to create a framework for enterprise architecture practice. TOGAF as a standard is expected to be adopted and adapted to suit an organization's specific goals. You can decide to apply TOGAF to the entire enterprise or to pick out an aspect of that organization and apply TOGAF there. TOGAF provides an examinations for certification in the knowledge of the standard at two levels. Level 1, the foundation level, and level 2, the certified level. Having mentioned the EA, Enterprise Architecture, in the last slide, it's important we talk about what Enterprise Architecture is. An enterprise is considered an, an, a collection of organizations uh, that form a unit. Your company is an enterprise as simple as that. But an enterprise in the context of EA can also be considered a domain within that collection of organizations. Enterprise Architecture uh, provides guidance and governance and uh, adds to the strategy of an organization, defines the future of that organization in terms of how systems talk to each other and how systems talk to processes and so on. Uh, the enterprise architect would be typically involved in the design of the entire enterprise and not just specific solutions that make up or that contribute to the business of the enterprise. Tokyo standard consists of seven parts. Introduction, Architecture Development Method, or the ADM, which is a fundamental part. ADM Guidelines and Techniques, Architecture Content Framework. Enterprise Continuum and Tools, TOGAF Reference Models, and the Architecture Capability Framework. Introduction part of TOGAF deals with a broad overview of the standard and in this part, key terms that are used in the standard are defined. The architecture development method, or the ADM, is easily the most important aspect of TOGA. It consists of a series of steps that are required to arrive at an architecture for your enterprise. We typically say that uh, the ADM has 10 phases, the preliminary phase, phases A to H, and then the requirements management phase. Requirement management phase interfaces with all the phases in H in the entire process. Full listing of the ADM phases are preliminary phase, architecture vision phase, business architecture phase, information systems architecture phase, Knowledge Active Phase, Opportunities and Solutions, Migration Planning, Implementation Governance, Architecture Change Management, and Requirements Management. The figure in front of us is a depiction of the ADM iterations. It's actually a complete set of ADM phases grouped into four. The first of the four is the architecture context iteration, which kind of sets the background for implementation of um, architecture work. The second is the architecture delivery iteration, which is a set of steps that will show us a model that we are going to be working with. The third is the transition planning iteration, a set of steps where we begin to deploy or the plan to deploy what we have. Designed. And the fourth is the architecture governance iteration, which provides guidance on how we align with our company's policies and standards. Part three of TOGAF is the ADM guidelines and techniques, which essentially provides guidelines and techniques for implementing the architecture development method. Key concepts discussed here are the architecture principles business scenarios, gap analysis, 
interoperability and risk management. The fourth part of TOGAV is the architecture content framework where we describe the concepts around the artifact that we stored, some of the concepts discussing the views and viewpoints, stakeholders and concerns, as well as architecture deliverables. The fifth part of TOGAF is the Enterprise Continuum and Tools, which deals with taxonomy. Taxonomy is essentially about classification of architecture outputs. There are three parts addressed in the Enterprise Continuum and Tools part, and these are the Enterprise Continuum, Architecture Continuum, where we have the architecture building blocks, and the Solutions Continuum, where we have the solutions building blocks. In essence, it eventually we have to deal with what we call the architecture repository, where our architecture building blocks, architecture artifacts are stored. Logger reference models are essentially samples of how we should build our architecture and it covers two main um, reference models. The TOGA technical reference model, which is considered the foundation architecture, and the integrated information infrastructure reference model, which is considered a common systems architecture. When dealing with the architecture, there are four levels typically addressed foundation architecture, common systems architecture, the um, industry specific architecture and the organization specific architecture capability framework finds the organization the skills the roles and the responsibilities required to implement OGAF or to implement an architecture and typically the concepts that we look at there are the architecture governance the architecture board which is one of the highest bodies that determine how we progress with the architecture work, architecture contract, and the architecture compliance. So do look out for more details of these concepts in EA and TOGAF on this channel. Thank you for watching and do share.